Yes. We're good to go. All right, wonderful. I am just having a little bit of issues here on my end now. No technical issues are allowed. <laughs> I know, right? All right, everybody. Thank you for joining Live with Laura, our November 2020 issue. I just want to apologize right now if you guys hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> it is garbage day as well, so we may hear all kinds of stuff going on. Um, I'm going to shut my camera off here right now because it gets a little slow with the internet when I have my camera on. So thank you, everybody. Today we have Kathy Bova with us. She's our Vice President of Operations. She's going to be here to assist me and help me with the chat. So please yes. remember, chat in your questions. We want this to be very, very interactive. We have one objective today, and that is glove box. So what I want to do, we want to show you all the benefits that Glovebox has for your agency. And it was brought to our attention by one of our Arizona agents. So he calls me up and he says, hey, I need to run a report for Glovebox, a client list report, so I can send all my clients and my updated policies to Glovebox. And that completely striked my interest. I was like, wait, what? We can send a report? to an app that's going to keep all of this information updated. So I went in, did a demo with the guys, and it's amazing. So I'm really excited that you guys are going to have the opportunity to take a look at this app and see how it can benefit your agency. So I'd like to introduce Andy Matheson. He's the uh, co-founder and CMO of Glovebox, and Andy, or and Adam, Castanelli, did I say that right? I hope so. And he's head of sales. So guys, take it away. I'm going to make you presenter, Andy, and you can take the floor. Awesome. All right, you let me know when you can see my screen okay. Yes, we can. Thank you. Awesome. Well, I am going to go ahead and kick off. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Andy Matheson, co-founder and CMO of Glovebox. I uh, really appreciate you joining me today. We'll have about 30 minutes to show off the technology here, the platform in which agencies are uh, very excited about because um, there are mobile apps out there in the in insurance space, but um, we do it a little differently. Um, the biggest difference besides our interface, which is uh, been told that we have some of the best interface out there as far as a mobile app in the insurance space. But our biggest difference is that we connect to the insurance carrier systems versus connecting to the management systems. Now, uh, Laura had mentioned we have integrations with management systems, yes, and that's definitely what we prefer, but we also are relying upon the carrier data and their systems to push and pull information to allow us to have the most reliable, um, to utilize their robust systems and technology of these you know, big carriers. Um, so yes, we are able to pull in the information from your management system and provide the right data inside the application for your clients, but we're ultimately utilizing the carrier systems and their data. So we'll talk more about that in a minute. But we're available on the Google Play Store, the, uh, the web, meaning the web application, so an internet browser, uh, so that you can have this on your website, uh, but then also iPhone, of course. This is the team here, uh, myself in the middle, uh, Adam on the far right, head of sales, um, and my other two business partners. This is the executive team here. Uh, the three of us on the left are actually former agents and agency owners ourselves. We grew a very large agency uh, the past decade of uh, $100 million in premium. About 95% of that premium was personal lines. Uh, so what you see here today is a personal lines product to start. We're adding commercial life and health in the next 90 days. Uh, so get excited about the personal lines piece of this first, and then we'll definitely be adding those other products here pretty quickly. Uh, but the three of us stepped away from the um, agency ownership model to really start a technology because we knew that there was a big gap in the relationship between the client, the agency, and the carrier. And we wanted to improve upon that. We've actually had a board advisor by the name of Scott McNeely. This name may, may not ring a bell, but he's actually the former CEO and co-founder of Sun Microsystems. He's been pretty vital to our success so far, so a great guy to have on board. 
But this is what I want you all to focus on. This would be the problem that you may be seeing at your agency. And it's that when you write a client, there is a very good chance that they are not starting an account with their carrier. Um, now, what does this mean? This means that 80% or more of your client base is probably using your agency for everything under the sun related to customer service. Now, that is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, it's good because you always want to be speaking to your clients and be in front of them and take their phone calls and keep them happy. Absolutely. It's bad because you don't have time for all that stuff. Um, you want to make more money, get more sales, grow a book of business. And we know it best. We did that at our old agency. But we were seeing 400 plus calls a day that were coming into our agency. And at that agency, we were getting most of those calls that had to do with basic customer service requests. Things like, can you send me a deck page? Can you send me an auto ID card? How do I pay a bill? How do I start a claim? So the client can utilize the app of the carrier, but you want to keep the client in front of your brand, right? So you don't necessarily want to push them over to the Progressive app, the Travelers app, et cetera. You want to keep them in front of your brand. And so we've created Glovebox to do just that. We did a quick study, I want to point this out, uh, to look at the three main distribution channels of insurance. You have the internet channel, the captive channel, and the independent channel. Within each of those channels, most of them have mobile apps. You look at the internet channel first, you have eSurance, Root, Geico as some of the major players in that space who have hundreds of thousands of ratings, tens of thousands, millions for Geico, um, and a lot of great ones. People enjoy using their mobile app. They can self-service. They can uh, do what they need to do on their own. If you go over to the captive model, you have Allstate, State Farm, USAA, these big brands. So of course, they have mobile apps. It's obvious. You buy directly from these companies. You download their app hundreds of thousands, millions of ratings. People enjoy using these technologies. And then you get over to the independent channel guys and you see our carriers that we deal with on a daily basis and look at these ratings. You have an average of two, three star ratings. People are not enjoying their technology first off, but really more so importantly, look at those numbers of people who are using them. They're, they're really not many people using these technologies, using these platforms for the independent channel. And there's a couple of reasons why one, because independent agents, and it's not your fault, but you don't really push them to use these applications, right? Because you want to keep them in front of your brand. So you're not saying go download Travelers, go download Nationwide. They're having to figure that out for themselves. The second reason is because you have to have a policy number in order to register for an account with these companies. And I don't know about you, but I don't have that policy number in my back pocket. So I get to that point of registering for an account with my carrier and I say, oh, I have to find my policy number, Never mind. I don't know where that is, and they just don't complete it. So that's happening all the time. So this means your policyholders in your book of business are frustrated. You know, you can understand why. Where do I get my policy documents? How do I pay a bill? Where do I start a claim? How do I start a claim? Those types of things. Who is my insurance agent? How do I get a hold of them? Those are the basic things there. From your side of the table, you have you know, things that you're frustrated with. You have to handle all those service demands to keep your clients happy. And most of those requests are basic, things that can and should be handled by technology. And the, by the way, the client wants to use a self-service platform. We've been able to show that with those other carriers. Maintaining a solid retention, dealing with decreased commissions by carriers, dealing with rising overhead costs. You know, This is just something you have to keep an eye on. But let's hone in on this piece right here, the digital expectation of the client. We've been kind of harping on this a lot so far. On the left, you have a great example of a mobile app that works well and it provides value and it's simple and easy to use. That's actually Liberty Mutual's app. On the right, you have an example of these management systems that provide a portal so that a client can log in and grab their policy information. But this is presented on an Accord form. And I know you all know this, but that form was really intended to be an internal facing document for the agency, never for an external facing document for the client. So if I'm John Smith and I'm looking at this, it's very tough to read. It's you know difficult to understand what I'm doing here. Um, and really the uh, access to get to this place is tough. You have, uh, first of all, no rollout process. So typically an agency doesn't really get clients signed up, um, very low adoption, and people don't really use those portals, but also just the a login process is kind of clunky. If that remember a username, remember a password, having headaches with the password, those types of situations. So that's what I want you guys to understand. So we knew at Glovebox, we wanted to create something better. 
It is a platform that brands the agency first, connects to the carrier second, and every time I think of insurance, I'm opening up my Glovebox app, I'm dealing with my agency, but I can also connect to my carrier and utilize the carrier, you know, robust systems and technologies that they've built. So we provide that connect, uh, that direct connection to the carrier, uh, the access to actual policy documents, your actual deck page, your actual ID card, um, the ability to pay a bill directly, start a claim directly. There's no account setup necessary. I'll show you how easy it is in a minute. A simple client login and a automated rollout. We actually roll out for you. So we actually will, like it, Laura mentioned, uh, integrate with your system if we do have that capacity for that specific system. If not, we'll help you build a report inside of your management system and then receive that report on a weekly basis. We will import that into our system, be able to provide the proper policy information on each individual user and actually distribute your application to that user by sending out messages. And I'll talk about that in, in just a minute. But let's talk about our types of connections that we have with our carriers. On the left, you have the preferred method, which is an API direct connection. This allows us to connect to the system directly, push and pull information, actually store the documents right there on their glove box. We have a number of those API direct connections. On the right, you have an embedded service portal. This is a, another type of connection we have because either the carrier hasn't handed over the API connections or we have not, they have not built them yet. So um, in that case, we embed their service portal inside of the platform. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Now, remember, there's not much of a technology out there that allows this. So what we've done is some versatility here. You can have an agency app or you can have a specific agent app. So maybe you have a primary company-wide custom branded app, or you, on the right there, you can see that we can brand it to the individual producer. So that's awesome. And we can distribute it. Um, so John Smith, the client, can receive producer A's mobile app uh, based on whatever assignment is in the management system for that client. So hey, I'll Andy, you. can you hear me okay? I can hear you. Yeah. So one of the other things that I was going to mention over this, um, the ability to customize is great because not only can we produce a producer card if an individual agent would like to appear in front of their clients, but we've also had situations where let's say you, um, you acquire or buy another insurance agency and they're familiar with that name. We have the ability to make individual cards for separate office locations, pretty much anything out there from an office location or a producer perspective. So um, we've had some situations where someone's bought a new agency and they would like to uh, not only rebrand their new company as having taken over, but still keep the old company information there for them. So um, we can really get customizable with any type of additional cards, but the main agency card is, uh, is the key piece that obviously keeps that customer loyalty in front of your brand and it's on their most used device. I think that's the key piece here is it's a uh, it's pretty much a necessity at this point to have something living on your client's phone that gets them to you other than a google search or, or having to scroll through contacts nailed it yeah, that makes sense inside the application we've also added a quote capture button the ability for a prospect a current client a referral partner to submit a quote request inside of your app so I'd get this into the hands of your family, your friends, your referral partners, and let them distribute your app. And then those people that receive it can request a quote. I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. We have a very cool customer service request button as well. So this big blue button underneath the logo, they will open it and open up a chat bot. This chat bot is automated. So everything that's being said is already basically asking questions of the client. Hey, what request can we make for you? And then it actually compiles that information and sends the agency an email so that you can put it into the queue and knock it out when you need to. I mentioned this earlier, but the onboarding process is completely automated, which is awesome. You do not have to worry as an agency about promoting and distrib uh, distributing your own application. We're gonna do that for you. And we do this in the form of white labeled invitations through text message and through email. So white labeling meaning it would, have, it would look and feel like it's coming from your agency. So the client wouldn't really know any difference. And then we'd provide them your link to put them over into your application and um, they would be able to get started. So, you know, we're really maximizing the ability to, to improve client adoption with no work on your end. 
And I think one of the key pieces to this is it is a team effort. We're doing the initial rollout, which there's no other products out there that do a combined text message uh, and email rollout to your clients. So we're going to get that initial adoption of people that uh, are using your app and getting it on their phone. But part of this process is also getting your team involved. So if someone does call in and ask a simple question like, hey, can I get a copy of this policy or a copy of this ID card or how do I do this? Um, that call from your team should always end with, hey, by the way, you probably have received some text messages or emails. Have you created your Glovebox account? Because all of this is accessible in there. So the key is to get as much adoption as possible and have your team, both sales and CSRs, use this, this tool to benefit your agency because the more people using it, the more valuable it is. Well said. Thanks, Adam. Um, so guys, what we're showing here with the agencies that have gotten started so far, um, the number of agencies that are getting back to us are telling us, hey, we have been able to reduce customer service costs. We have less phone calls coming in. And the phone calls that are coming in now are more high level. They just, you know, clients actually do need to speak with us about this uh, certain situation. And really the increased retention, people are having a better experience with their agency because now they have a self-service option uh, in the form of an app on their phone or on the web, on your, on your website. Um, new business is going up because referral partners have an easy way to refer you out. Uh, current clients have an easy way to get your app into the hands of other people. Um, and just at the end of the day, more revenue, which is what we're all looking for. We've made it very easy for agencies to get started. First of all, I'll mention that we have a month-to-month -month agreement, which is pretty rare to come by these days. We, we do this because we're confident you guys are going to love it. Um, so we have a month-to-month -month agreement. But really, to get started, you would we'd grab agency details from you. We'd grab a logo. If we were to build specific producer apps for you, we would take care of number two. Number three, we would either help you build a report inside of your management system and have that sent over to us, or if we're integrated with your management system, um, then we will be able to uh, have that happen automatically. And then lastly, uh, number four, there, a team onboarding call. We call this the pre-launch. We'd get everyone from the agency on a quick Zoom, we'd go over everything, show you your application, and then we'd get started. Also, so um, one of the cool things that Andy actually put together um, is so many people would rather watch a 30 second video about how a technology is, is supposed to work. So along with the rollout text messages, Andy has a team that creates a video that's white labeled to your agency that gives them all of the basics of what they're gonna be able to do in the app. So they can create their account knowing what they have access to do. And you can push that out to your social media platforms which is great. Um, yeah, so it's it's a pretty cool setup. The whole goal is to make it a completely seamless transition for people to have an app for your agency living on their device. Precisely. Yeah. Um, thanks for adding that in there. The promo video helps you know get clients more interested in, in downloading it right away. Um, I apologize. I'm not as good with GoToMeeting. Do you all see this new screen here, Adam? Do you see this new screen? Yeah, it's it's there. Okay, great. So what you're seeing here, guys, um, remember, we're rolling out to your clients. We're inviting them to download your app. Uh, when they receive the text or the email, whichever they're on at that very moment, they will click the link inside of the message, and they will open up the web application immediately. Um, we do it this way because we don't know what device they're on. They could be on a laptop, a desktop, an iPad, a tablet, an Android, an iPhone. So we immediately point them over to the web version of your application. So this would be what I'm looking at here and what you're all seeing is um, the demo account Primal Insurance Group. And obviously this would be your logo, it would be your agency, and the client would immediately be able to get started. So they can click that launch button. And the ability to sign up or log in is the same every time. Uh, we make this very simple for the user. They can either log in with their phone number or their email. So. Uh, for me, I'll just lo log in with my phone number and agree to the terms. I can click launch my account, and a text message actually just came over to my phone right in this second. So, two, eight, four, five, seven, one. So that's my password. So every time I log in, I'm getting a PIN number. Um, it's a new PIN number every time. That makes the, the login process very simple. Um, and so right now, it is actually establishing my glove box for me, it's saying, "Hey, you've been connected to Primal Insurance." Here is what you can do with your Primal Insurance's card inside of Lovebox. You can request service and get quotes with ease. Uh, click to text, call, and email uh, to communicate with your agency. You can refer uh, the agency out 
if I click next, it's immediately showing me that I'm connected to Nationwide. Now, I personally have policies with Nationwide, which is why it's showing me this. Every individual client will see their carriers connected. So it would be, you know, for them, whatever it is they have. If they click next again, I also have policies with travelers. Um, so it's displaying that for me as well. And then one more click and I'm into my glove box. So this is the layout of your web application, which is actually the same look and feel. Nothing's different on the native app the one I download on my phone. Um, so just in, envision that being the same concept on my actual native app on the phone. Um, so as you can see here, very clear, this is my agency. These are my insurance carriers. By the way, a lot of people inside of the independent channel as clients are confused. Who's my agency? Who's my carrier? What do I do with each? So we make that very obvious here. One of the first things you're going to notice is if I click on travelers, I'm um, immediately seeing my policies here. So my home policy, my auto policy, whatever it is, that's what's listed. And it's saying, do you want to connect? Do you want to pay a bill? Do you want to make a claim? If I was to select this home policy here, it's going to navigate me to connect to Travelers. It's saying, great news, Travelers is directly connected to Glovebox. To get your policy documents, simply click on the button above and enter your Travelers login credentials. I can say, got it, and select that connect to carrier button. Now, right here, the next page, it's actually prompting me to log in. Now, I personally already have an account with Travelers which is why this is already pre-filled because my computer or my phone knows that. Um, it's because that's how I got started in the first place with Travelers. But again, most of your clients, 80% or more, won't have an account with their carrier. So below here it says, or register for an account. The following policy numbers were pulled from your agency. So remember, we have all of your clients' policy numbers that we're displaying to them individually. It says you may need one or more of your policy numbers to sign up with Travelers. It says you'll be directed to the Traveler site to complete your registration. So these are my policy numbers. I can copy one or more, click register, and it's going to immediately pop me over to registering real quick with Travelers. This is a four-step process, should be fairly quick. Once I'm registered with my carrier, I'm right back over here. Your computer or phone will remember your credentials, so then you can just go ahead and log in. Now, I only have to log in one time using this direct connection. This is the API connection right here with Travelers. It's immediately pulled in my policies and we store them on their glove box. So it's saying there's your auto, there's a couple homes. If I click done, do you want to save your email? I'm just going to say set it later. And then if I click Travelers and select one of my policies, there they are. There are the documents associated to my policies. If I select ID card, there's my actual ID card. I can print it. I can scan it. I can send it to somebody. I can show a police officer, whatever I need to do. And then if I see my policy document, my actual declarations page, there it is, live and up to date from the carrier. Makes life very simple for the client, easy to understand, um, much better than an accord form that the management system is providing. So. Um, we provide as well any other snail mail that has come to the client. We collect that document and we can display it here. For example, if I select other, it's showing me, hey, we had trouble sending you an ePay policy email. So, uh, you know, we collect those documents and display them as well. We list out the drivers. We list out the vehicles so that the client has a very clear indication of what's insured. Um, and then we provide that individual policy number right here, a copy. The reason we do that is because if I need to pay a bill on this auto policy, I can click pay a bill. And guys, the very first question it asks me is, what is my policy number? So I can go ahead and paste and proceed. I actually did this for my own policies the other day. It literally took 30 seconds. Makes life very simple. Same concept with making a claim. Opens up that par uh, portion of that carrier and I can proceed. So you can see how easy that would be for the carrier. The other type of connection we have is that embedded service portal. So this Traveler's version was the direct API connection, pulls in and stores the documents on my glove box that I have access to it right here. The other type would be that embedded service portal, Nationwide being one of them. And we have an exciting announce announcement coming up with Nationwide here soon, but for now, they're one of those embedded service portal companies. So what that means for us is if I select my policy with Nationwide, it's going to prompt me to just to log in nationwide, which means gr great news. Now it's easy to access your nationwide account directly through Glovebox. To get your nationwide policy, you simply click the log in to carrier button and enter your credentials. So same concept, although when I click log in to carrier, it's just jumping me over to nationwide. 
so that I can proceed to do one of the following. So this is where I would log in here and grab my documents, pay a bill, start a claim. It makes it very obvious on what to do. The only difference being that we're not storing the documents inside a glove box because we don't have that API connection just yet. But we actually have that coming up in nationwide here in the next couple of weeks. So you can see how this would be obvious and easy to kind of handle any carrier situation. If I was to talk to my agency or deal with my agency, if I can select my agency card here, and I can do a few things here. I kind of talked about that in the presentation. I can request service by submitting a claim with you or chatting about you, uh, with chatting about the claim with you, updating a policy, changing a vehicle. I can get a quote. I can set an appointment with you. I can refer you out. If I was to select request service, this is really cool. Clients and agencies are loving this. This opens up an automated chat bot. All right, here, so it's asking me, who am I speaking with? And it looks and feels like I'm speaking with my agency right now. So that's kind of cool. It's a personal touch in a digital platform. So you can see here, it's going to collect some uh, updated contact information for me. And everything that this bot is collecting right now, it's going to compile in an email and send to the agency so that you can get started on the request. What can I help you with today, Andy? And there it is. I need help on my whatever policy, auto policy. So you can see how this would be a very easy experience, a very pleasant experience for the uh, client. If I select get a quote, this opens up a get a quote form. Now the good thing about this button is we can put whatever you want there. You can either use our form or your you know, proprietary form that you may have. Um, sometimes Raiders, Easy Links, PL Raider have a widget that you can actually provide and we can put behind that button as well. So the benefit there is that it inputs the information into your rating system. <clears throat> Using our form, however, if I click get started, you have a few options. Are you a current client? Are you a brand new client? Or are you a referral partner? Uh, we put this button in there because we know agents work with referral partners all the time, mortgage brokers a lot of the time. A mortgage broker could actually select that, enter the client's information, and then actually enter in a document, which is great because, as you may all know, 1003s, which is the mortgage application client, uh, mortgage brokers sometimes just give over to the agent and, hey, get this quote done for my client. They can upload that right there. So that makes life very easy. Um, the other piece of that get a quote form would be if I'm a current client or a brand new client, let's say I'm a new prospect, I just downloaded your app. Again, submitting information here to get my quote started. So you can see how easy this would be to get my quote done with you. All right, this is going to compile the information and send it over to you. Setting an appointment, very obvious. That's going to open up a calendar link. Referring the agency out, that's going to actually just open up my contacts. If I'm on my phone, I can submit a text or an email to my friends, my family, my clients, if I'm a referral partner, and send your app to whoever I need to send it to. Um, so that's great. We add your website, we add your address, we had your customer service phone number with extensions, your email and text message number. So I can text my agency if I have that capacity um, and then sales specific stuff as well. Um, the other piece here I wanna point out, if I happen to have a home policy with your agency, uh, my auto policy might be with, I don't know, say Allstate. I can actually click on Allstate, click add to glove box. It's saying I've been connected to Allstate. And now if I go home, it's added the Allstate card in my Glovebox homepage. So now I can manage all of my insurance regardless of who I have it with. I can delete the Allstate app. I can use your app for everything. We're actually giving access uh, pretty soon so that you can see every individual client's Glovebox. So you can see, hey, I see you have a policy with Allstate. I'd love to get that quoted for you and get that over to my agency, something like that. Uh, but really for the client, this is great. We're adding life, health, and commercial soon call it 90 days, so the client will be able to manage any product inside of your agency's technology. Uh, two more things and then I'll stop talking. Uh, under the chat bot here, this is a Glovebox app support. Uh, this is if they have any tech issues, if they need to help navigating through the application. This is us handling this. We don't want you guys worrying about tech support. So we actually have the ability to jump in live and chat with them as well. So we're grabbing a human to chat and someone from our team will jump in. Um, and then under the account tab, this would be downloading the iOS app, downloading Android. Um, if I'm actually on my phone um, and I'm on the web browser, um, it would actually prompt me at the top to download it. So that's the benefit right there of being on a phone. Um, and then FAQ page, if I select that, a number of FAQs pop up. How do I pay a bill, for example? And they can watch a video on how to do that. 
So it was very self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, that is Glovebox. That is our platform right now. This is kind of our most, um, again, this is our baseline infrastructure that we, we put together for you all. Um, agencies are pumped up about it. The ability to allow your client to self-service. Now here's the thing. Not everyone's going to want a self-service, but at least now they have an option to contact you very easily at the bare minimum. And then max value is doing all this with their agency and doing all this with the carrier. Um, we're adding some really cool stuff here soon. We're going to be adding a home warranty option for a client to purchase home warranty services, um, to purchase home security services through your application. Uh, we are going to be adding a marketplace, which is going to be huge. The ability for a client to say, hey, I'd like to get a life insurance quote. Hey, I'd like to get pet insurance. Um, this is going to be awesome. And, and the ability for you to earn extra revenue through your application. So more to come on all that. That's kind of the, a teaser on all that stuff. So I want to open up a, questions. I was going to say, we had a couple of questions. I think the main one was, um, what carriers do we connect to? And it's kind of a two-part answer. Um, Andy, if you go to the carriers tab there, um, sure. you can show everybody, we have the ability to display a carrier card for any carrier, whether it's small, regional, national, that you might sell. So if somebody has uh, a large national carrier like Travelers, that card will appear. If somebody has um, in your book of business a small regional carrier, we have a card for them as well. So as long as there's a way for us to access that carrier's portal to get documents to you, we can display that card. So if there is a carrier that shows up in your um, book of business that we have yet to be, build a card for, we will get, get it built before we roll out to your clients because we want every carrier possible to show up. Now, the difference is the user experience between an API connection and an embedded service portal. So the embedded service portal is essentially a doorway. We are bringing somebody in your app to the login screens for that carrier. Whereas the API connection, you have the ability to log in right in Glovebox and it will save your information and documents as if it was saving you being logged into that, that carrier's portal. So. Um, I hope that answers kind of the questions about um, like what carriers we provide to. The goal is to get every carrier set up with an API connection. Part of that is with our, our um, working with independent agencies. The more of these carriers and the carrier reps hear, hey, when are you going to have an API connection into Glovebox, the faster it makes them move. Perfect. Yeah, um, Andy, there was a question, and I don't know the answer to this one. Um, any possibility of Medicare integration down the road? Yeah, I mean, product specific, we're looking to open it up to virtually every product. If there is some sort of service portal for that, you know, Medicare provider, we're looking at it. Um, so life, health, you know, commercial, Medicare. If there's a portal, we're going to do our best to add that product. Um, so look out for that. And... Um, Another question was the, the client list, what do we integrate with? We are also establishing APIs with agency management systems. Our first one that just went live last week was with Hawksoft. Mm -hmm. So Hawksoft now has in their marketplace tabs, a glove box report button, which allows you to roll your active client customer base right up to our database. So the plan is to have that established with every agency management system, um, until then, it's really simple. We provide you in the onboarding process a, uh, a nice video as well as step-by-step -step instruction with Salesforce, Easy Links, um, QQ Catalyst on how you would build your client report that would be sent to us. So yeah, um, yeah if there's not an API with your agency management system, it's essentially you rolling your report to us as often as you'd like. And that's right now a super easy process to build the report. Uh, we have um, a, a big one coming out, an integration with a management system coming out very soon. We just got a, a, an indication on that yesterday. So that's gonna be pretty quick. Um, I won't talk about who it is, but um, it's coming out in the next couple of weeks. And then they'll just trickle in at this point. We have uh, now certs as far as a button in the management system that they can just click and push over. We have um, NASA, if you're familiar with NASA management system, we have um, QQ Catalyst on the way and, and many others. So this is going to only get bigger and better with the, the integration with the management system, which will make life easy on you. Um, but in the meantime, we can work with all of them. Great. Thank you so much. I have a few questions that 
people have chatted me. So first one, how often is that report from Epic sent into Glovebox in regards to if policies have canceled, we've remarketed them to a different carrier, how often is that updated? Yeah, so typically an agency does once a week, uh, meaning that it's scheduled to show up in our system once a week. And the good news about specifically Epic is it can be scheduled to send however often you want. So if it needs to be daily, it can be daily. If it needs to be weekly, it can be weekly. So our system will catch it and provide the update fairly immediately. And we can present the new policy or remove the old or whatever it needs to be. Or if it's a new client, roll out to them as we would a new client, right? Um, I saw a question here about now search now search is awesome. They've been super cool to work with. They have a button inside the management system that literally you click the glove box button and it pushes everything over. So that's been a really cool integration. All right. Can you upload documents as a client to the agency? So if somebody needed an appraisal, mm -hmm. they can upload yeah. that. Awesome question. That's the next thing on our roadmap. That'll probably be done soon. I would hope by the end of the year, so in 2020, we'll have that in there. Uh, the ability to not only have the agency jump into each individual glove box and say, hey, I'm going to upload this document to your glove box for you, but then of course the client doing the same thing if they need to. So yes, coming soon. All right. And what about giving access to your kids so you can get auto ID cards? Sure. Yeah. Family, family glove box. Uh, right now that would be as simple as, Hey, I'm the parent. I'm going to share my, my ID card to you through the, the, the sharing button inside of the application for that specific policy. We want to actually add a piece at the very front end that says, who is your family member? Who are we sharing your glove box with? So we already know that that's coming into play very quickly. I would say Q1 of next year, we'll have that family sharing piece, but right now it'd just be referring the app over to your family member or sending that policy specific. Okay, and oh, that's really good too, because I know my kids are always not having their auto ID cards. All right, and another question was, oh, I, you guys talked before about having the ability, if clients have um, policies, you know, outside of the agency, they can still add those in, correct? You got it. Yep, precisely. So you name the carrier. If that's not a carrier that you have at your agency, the client has the ability to manage that policy. So they can put all of their policies. Yep. That's kind of how Andy has that Allstate carrier listed there. So he went to the, the carriers tab, he added it to his glove box, and now he has Allstate populating on his home screen. So um, yeah, so you can go in there if you have, like I personally have my life insurance through Farmers, but my home and auto is through auto owners and they all live on the home screen there with access. Um, so yeah, you can, I mean, again, it's all about self-servicing, but I think a big piece of this too is some people are still gonna rely heavily on the agency and calling them um, if they have questions. And that card right there um, has all your contact info. It has the ability for them to really do anything that you'd like. Um, I think Andy mentioned, we also have push to text as well. So if you have a text message number that's capable for your CSR team or the ability for people to text, because that's just what some people prefer, we can also put that in there. Um, but some of the other integrations that are definitely in our roadmap is um, languages. We've talked with a bunch of agencies that would like to have Spanish. I know someone asked about Spanish and Russian in the chat. Um, the goal is to be able to uh, have language capabilities cross over from English down the line as well. Um, but I think the key piece of this is being really transparent about how much adoption you have. So every week right now, we send an email that tells you how many people have downloaded your app, how many people have created their accounts. And we want you to see that this thing is growing. And um, like I kind of mentioned at the beginning of the call, it really is a team effort from not only our initial automated rollouts, but getting people over time. The, uh, the adoption rates go up and up and up the more involved a, um, a team or an agency is in letting people know like, hey, do you remember seeing this? Here's the link, you can provide it in an email right to them on the call and they can establish their account. All right, last piece, no. let's talk about pricing. So good news, you all are a part of um, ASNOA, of course, and this is a partnership that we've established with ASNOA. So you can assume that your rate will be 20% uh, off the flat monthly rate. 
how we do our pricing is based on the number of clients that you have in your book of business. So obviously there's tiers. Um, if you have one to 500 clients, you're paying 150 a month, take off 20%, so 120 per month, so on and so forth. And again, this is specific to personal lines for now. Um, so you can kind of see where that is. We also have an onboarding fee of $4.99, but we are waiving that for as NOAA members, so good news. You don't have to pay an onboarding fee. You have 20% off, and then the agreement is month to month. Last piece, if you wanted to add a specific agent app under the primary agency app, it'd be $39 extra. So you have your primary agency app, and then John Smith, the producer, and so on and so forth, producer A, B, and C. It'd be $39 per agent if you wanted to add that. So I think it's important to know too, um, the way that we develop these buckets, we really want this to be um, affordable for people that are growing their agencies as well. So that's why you see those first buckets are really inclusive. The 500 to 2000 policyholders, 2000 to 5000 policyholders, the way that we come up with this number is it's based off of households. So if someone has five policies with you, they only count as one client with us. So when it goes through our database from your client list, we are scraping those, tying those together, and um, we're taking that household count essentially to determine what bucket and tier you fall within. And yeah, you can take 20% off of this bucketed tier price. And um, if you get us a client report and you've crossed over a threshold into a next bucket, we alert you to let you know, hey, you've, you've now joined the performance tier. So we let you know on that. Last thing I'll put in perspective for you. Uh, when you're looking at a technology uh, and you're considering what Glovebox will do for you, you're essentially, you're not replacing a CSR, but you're taking things off of a CSR's plate. Or as an agent, you're not handling as many service phone calls. You're now spending more time on high-level phone calls, sales, marketing. Glovebox can be used for a large scope of value, right? You can do it for prospecting. Hey, download my app because not many other independent, independent agents have one. Hey, self-service, hey, just keep my app on your phone in case you wanna contact me. There's a number of things that Glowbox can be valued for, but probably when it comes to price, it's just you're replacing your time. Now you can focus on sales and marketing versus just service all the time, basic tier one service. That's awesome. Um, so I have a yeah. question real quick. Um, I'm gonna unmute you, Barry. Barry, you have a question? Yes. With, uh, you get the number of households who downloads everything into the glove box. Is that something we do, Chicago office does, or you do? Uh, I'm sorry, I want to understand your question a little further. I apologize. Who, who downloads, we're in Epic, who downloads everything in the glove box? Got it. So uh, the download comes into Epic. Epic uh, will have a report that you will have scheduled to send to us. So we'll help you build the report for one time. It'll take five minutes. Once that report is established, the downloads will come into that report and be scheduled to send to us. So you don't have to do anything after that report is built. So it'll take five minutes of your time to build the report and then you're good. Okay. So Barry, what we'll do is we already have that report set up because one of our Arizona agents is currently using Glovebox for his agency and they absolutely love it. So we have that and we would just schedule that from your My Reports in Epic. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I do have a question too, because uh, your name, you're branding it, the agency. And you said that, like right now, I, I know I went to the Apple store, I went to Glovebox, I was able to add my own MetLife policy. I didn't, and, and it's not branded with our agency yet. And that, the only thing I wanted to clarify, two things. One, um, if I did that as a consumer, right, I had, I had a monkey with multiple passwords, right? You're saying if the agency brands this, right, and I'm offering this to my client, and they have multiple policies with MetLife, Progressive, whoever, um, I'm able to brand it. So it says my agency name on there. They can add those additional carriers, but you also said they can add carriers outside of my agency. So yeah. does that take them to a separate screen? You know what I mean? So I just didn't, I, I was just confused how, how the servicing piece would work if I added my life case policies that I had maybe outside an agency, you know, yeah. with somebody else. 
keep in mind, uh, we know which carriers your client has policies with because of that report. So we okay. pre-build their glove box for them. When they enter for the first time, their stuff is there as far as what carrier and what policies. If there's anything outside of your agency, they're gonna have to go into the carrier tab and add it themselves, if that makes sense. And then once that's added, say it is my Allstate policy, but your agency doesn't offer Allstate, I would just click Allstate and I'd be able to log into Allstate through your technology, if that makes sense, to deal with my Allstate policy with them. All right, but you're providing access to that and then they can delete their Allstate app and just deal with your agency's app. Or, or they can add it right and that was i think what you shared that they could add all of their carriers whether they're with our agency or not i was just wondering if the service piece got confused could they go to the agency that you know the client doesn't always know who their agents are right no yeah, that's um, completely fair i mean you want them to think of you regardless of the policy or the carrier so it's like hey i'm coming to your agency and if i happen to if it's all state it's like hey well Shoot, I don't have that Allstate policy at my agency. I'd actually like to switch you over. Let's get that quoted. <laughs> yeah, it gives you an opportunity. Absolutely. So if it is integrated yeah, with sure. and, and your carriers are all on there, I only have one login to be clear. Yep, um, just right. the one glove box login, and that will take me into all my individual carriers, or do I have to still register into the glove box and then into each individual carrier? Um, uh, so let me show you here. So I remember I've already, you can see I've, I'm on the home screen of Glovebox. If I click launch and I've already started an account, uh, same process. I just type in my phone number. I'm coming in for a second and a third time. Let's say this is my second time coming in. I launched my account. I just got a text message on my phone, literally just this second, uh, 608. And this is my, my sign up process or my, my, I'm coming back in for a second time and I'm back in, right? Uh, now I'm going into each, I'm diving into each individual carrier separately. So Travelers, for example, I've already logged in, so my stuff's already there. This is that API direct connection. So right, right. Just, oh, so, but I didn't, so I, so you did have to register with Travelers and create a user ID password there, yes, and then that should be saved then from, from now on, yes. right? Okay, Perfect. gotcha. Yeah, I just wanted to be clear on that. And whatever the carrier is offering as on their service, their client service portal, right? At, that's what you're accessing here is what's available. So that can vary from carrier to carrier, correct? You got it. I mean, every carrier is providing different feature functionality. So we display that for each carrier. And then, of course, from there, it's just when you're into that carrier's you know, experience, you can handle what you need to. I hope that answers it. Yeah, no, no, I think I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. I know um, I like the idea I have once I get into your uh, glove box and get into all my individual register for each one of those. What I love about it, um, which no other portal does, client facing portal does, is give me that ability to pay the bills online for whoever I have. So if I have 10 different carriers, I can go to those 10 different websites right from here. So I think that that right there is a huge piece, right? Um, yeah, it, it, yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's about ten different things that are very valuable here. You could select just one that's important to you, and the client could see all of those things, right? So it's great. Okay. So what I do absolutely love, love, love is the fact of the carriers that you work directly with. When you were just showing that travelers, where you could just click on it and automatically get your auto ID card and your documents right there. You didn't have to go into Travelers to get that information. Precisely, they have, that's our API connection with Travelers. And so we have about 20 API connections, give or take, uh, with many more to come. Because what will happen is these carriers will say, I want that for my client and I want that experience. And so you're gonna see more and more of those types. of. And, and what you guys need to do as agency owners and as agents is push that to your carrier reps. Hey, I want you guys to connect the glove box. It helps me, it helps you. Um, you know, so push your carriers to connect. Yeah, and um, Ed just had a good question. So, um, and Ron just asked if Safeco is an API. Yes, Safeco is an API, Auto Owners is an API, State Auto is an API. Most of the ma major national ones are. The other ones we're trying to, to get in the, the door. Well, we're already in the door. We're just getting them to push it forward. But I think one of the bigger things too is how do we use this um, for current clients? 
and the question was asked, will somebody's information automatically update? When you send up your new client list to us, the way we have it established is let's say someone had Nationwide with you and you rewrote them with Travelers, that will automatically sync inside the app for that end user. The Nationwide card would go away, the Travelers card would populate with those new policy numbers. So nothing needs to be done on your end other than rolling your report up to us. Um, from a new business perspective, now your producers can actually go out there when quoting against somebody else, let's say, and say, hey, by the way, if you go with us, we have an app that's going to have everything you need in one place for you. And they can actually send a link to their app to that client before um, they have actually, let's say, signed on with policies. And um, I guess all the, oh, the other question that came through was with Raider systems, Andy is pulling up how to get a quote. If you have an independent Raider system uh, that you would like to use, we can link any quote Raider system to your app. We just have built a type form that people can use that would send you the email of their choices if there's not one specific you'd like to use. Same thing with customer service requests. If you have a form that you would like someone to fill out because it goes into your ticketing software, you can embed that form as the customer service button. But we've also built an artificial intelligence chatbot that will then send um, the information to you via email. So everything is pretty customizable inside. That's awesome. I did have, I, I think somebody asked a question about it and I didn't know if you answered it about, um, can you put this on a website? So can we add a, a Glovebox link on the agent's website, take you directly to this portal? So it doesn't yeah. necessarily have to be on my phone. I can do it on a link as well. And that's, from what I know, Adam, I think we're the only to app, mobile app that does that, that it provides a web app version. So I'm on yeah. web right now, so yes. It's, a, it's a, a widget that will say access my policies that we can provide and you can put on your website and it will take people right to the web app version. And that's why we built the app to not only be iOS, Android, but also web app capable is some people, maybe they just prefer to use their computer. And if they do that, they can be on it just like Andy is right now uh, on their desktop. And we can definitely get them to download the app by hanging the banner natively, but people can access it in their preferred method. Great. Okay, quick question. Um, can you bring back up the area, the slide that you had, the agent, the agent portal or with the producer on it? And is that charge $39 a month for each producer that you have on there? Well, that you choose to. So if you don't want to, you can just have one agency application that's distributed to the entire client list. Or you could say, hey, John Smith, the client, is assigned to producer A and I want to build an app for producer A, B, C, you can choose to add as many producers as you wish. And that would be branded to that person right here with their contact info here. And that's $39 extra a month for each producer? Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right, perfect. And, and uh, I think we uh, to... Go ahead. Yeah, Ed's question. Oh, I was going to say, Ed had asked about um, driver's license scanning capabilities. One of the things that we'd like to, that we're having in the works as well is, I kind of call it a glove box within a glove box, essentially the ability to document share or, or picture share. That's also what can happen with text message, push to text. You can send a photo if you have a text message line. But yeah, we would love to, the plan is to have an archive folder that you could push a document or upload the document into their, uh, into your glove box. All right, fantastic. This was great information, you guys. I am so excited that you were able to come in and show everybody all of this information. So thank you again for joining. Thank you everybody else for joining. If you guys have any additional questions, please send them to us at training at asnoaa.com and we will forward all of your questions to Adam and Andy. So thank you everybody. Please complete the evaluation at the end of our session. And everybody have a great day. We really appreciate all the time that you guys spend with us. Yeah, thanks so much. Laura. Thank you, Laura, Laura, for setting all this up. And um, also, um, Laura, I'll give you uh, a Calendly link that if anyone needs like another call where they'd like to see this more one-on-one, -on -one, 
um, they can always do that with that link. So um, I'll provide that to you as well. All right, wonderful. And we did record our session today, so we will send that out to everybody so they can share that with their staff. And now everybody take a look at it. It's very amazing information and I'm very excited. So thank you everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody for joining. Thank you.